back to another video on my channel before we get into this video if you're new here hey how are you thank you so much for tuning in don't forget to hit that like button don't forget to subscribe if you're interested in more content and also that notification bell so that way you'll never miss a video thank you so much for tuning in and let's go ahead and get into the video i'm not sure you guys are tuning in today because of the title of the video or basically just because you're wanting to know a little bit more about doordash postmates things like that so basically what i did in this whole experience um i went out to do postmates originally i just started because i was off of work for a week and i've always wanted to get an idea of if it's really worth the hype and i hear a lot of people talk about it i hear a lot of people say that they make such good money i hear a lot of people say it's so easy you know i hear a lot of the the things that people say all the time so i kind of wanted to experience that or see for myself if you will if the hype is really high you know so I took advantage of the, the fact that I had a week off and I went ahead and I did it. I signed up for Postmates. I signed up for DoorDash as well. And it took about 24 to 48 hours to kind of um, verify me, get a background check, all of that stuff. And then once they did, bam, I was able to go ahead and go. So I downloaded the apps. They have two apps. I will be kind of looking at my phone to kind of reference a little bit um, to the facts for this. So they do have, for DoorDash, it's called Dasher, and for Postmates, it's called Fleet. So basically, you will download two apps, and once you go into the apps, they kind of give you a little breakdown of your area, your information. DoorDash, you have to be in a certain area in order to dash. They do it by area to start. Postmates, you could click, I could be sitting right here, go online, is what they call it, go online. And then it'll start, wherever you drive, you'll get orders. Um, so, if I had to pick out of the two, which one I kind of liked better, I would definitely pick Postmates because of the fact that I feel like it's more professional, if you will. Um, I feel like it's more structured, I guess you could say. So what I started with was Postmates. So for the sake of this video, um, I did do about two hours each day that I went, okay. So the days, and I'm just referencing to my phone to kind of give me what days I went and about how long that I did actually go. So I started on Monday, November the 9th. I started at 5.22 and I ended at 7.24. So roughly two hours, like I stated. Um, and I had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven orders. And then again, this is Postmates, so I'm gonna go to DoorDash, um, but this is Postmates. This is the first day that I started, so I did seven. Um, then I went back in, that was Monday. I went back on November 10th, um, which was a Tuesday, and I started at 5.15 p.m. and I ended at 7.11 p.m. Um, so I did roughly, so I did one, two, three, four orders on Tuesday and that was within my two hour time frame so then on wednesday the 11th i wanted to try the lunch rush because on postmates when it comes through it'll tell you from like 11 a.m to 2 p.m is their lunch rush and then like 6 p.m to 10 p.m is their dinner rush so i wanted to try for the sake of this video to see lunch as well as dinner just to kind of get a gist of if one's busier than the other or if i get more money during the other one whatever the case may be um so i did try lunch rush and i had three orders i stopped after an hour because it was ridiculous so i started at 11 30 um 11 34 to be exact and i stopped at 12 34. i had three orders um it just wasn't busy at all for lunch rush and again it was a wednesday so maybe it just wasn't wasn't that busy so i did go back out i started at 8 43 p.m that night and then i ended at 9 41 p.m that night it was late and i just i don't even know why i went out honestly but i had two orders <laughs> so then the next day on the 12th thursday um i started i tried to do lunch rush again um just to kind of see and maybe i had a bad day you know on 
Wednesday, so let me try Thursday. I started at 11.03, I ended at 12.01. It was dead. I had three orders and it just wasn't worth it. So I went back out that night at 6.25. I did one order and then I was done. Um, so the 12th was a Thursday and I, that Friday, because um, that Thursday night I went out at 6, 25 I did that one order and I only had one order so that's when I switched over to DoorDash and I tried to see what was so different with DoorDash I talked to one of my friends and she was adamant that DoorDash was so much better and you know you can make so much more money on DoorDash because it's so much busier and blah 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 and truth be told if I am if I'm ordering personally for me, I go to DoorDash. I don't use Postmates. I just always have gone to DoorDash. I just never have used Postmates. I've never even attempted to use Postmates. Not because I've heard anything bad, nothing like that. I just, that's just what I've had downloaded on my phone forever. And that's just what I use if I order something. Um, So, I will jump over to DoorDash real quick because that was on a Thursday when I stopped. So I started DoorDash. Before I jump into DoorDash, I do wanna point out a few differences between the two apps. So say that I am doing Postmates and say that I have a order. Um, typically, or what I've seen, it's just, we, I focus on that one order. With DoorDash, if I have an order on the way, it's gonna tell me, hey, do you want this order? Two, it's on the way. And it'll, I like that because it gives you an opportunity to have more orders. One thing that I do dislike is that um, with Postmates, if I say I go to downtown area, I stay within typically downtown area. Now with DoorDash, I had orders to where I started in downtown area and I ended up in Shawnee Mission, Kansas. Or I ended up on, you know, Kansas Avenue. I had an order that was on, I don't know if you guys are watching this and you might not be from here, um, but I had an order, it was on Prospect. It was at a Popeyes on Prospect. I don't know how I got down there because I started in, in downtown. But it's a Popeyes on Prospect. And then I ended up taking it to Independence, um, which is pretty far from, not pretty far, but it's far enough. Another example is I had something on Southwest Traffic Way and I took it to 41st in Cleveland um, in Kansas City. So it with DoorDash, you definitely drive. And I don't know, maybe if that's like a setting you can change, but with them, I will say that they definitely have you drive. And that, I don't, I don't feel like it's worth it. Um, Postmates, I've received better tips, things like that. Um, with DoorDash, you drive further and people don't necessarily tip good. Um, I don't know. Maybe it's just, like I said, I only did it for about a week, so maybe I just kind of got the end of it. Okay. So Thursday after I did that one order for Postmates, I wasn't getting any orders. I switched right over to DoorDash because I was like, hey, why not? It's Thursday night, let me go ahead and try it. So I had a total of five orders that night. I started at 7.06 and I ended at 8.28. So about an hour and a half, almost two hours. Um, and then Friday, I went ahead and I just did all DoorDash. So I started at roughly about 10.49 and I ended at about 12. So, that was Friday. Saturday the 14th, I had one, two, I did DoorDash. One, two, I had three orders. I started at 6 p.m. and I ended at 8, 11 p.m. And then Sunday, I had two orders. I started at 8.32 p.m. and I ended at 9.01 p.m. So I only did it for about 30 minutes. I was a little frustrated because of something that happened with DoorDash. But, um, and I also went out on Postmates on Sunday, Sunday morning. I started at about nine in the morning and I ended at, um, I started at 9.11 a.m. and I ended at 10.53. So roughly two hours each day is what I did. Um, all in all, 
I know you guys probably clicked on this video because you're wanting to see how much I earned within that time frame. I did want to let you guys know I roughly did two hours each day. So if this is something that you're really wanting to do or if it's something that you're really wanting to make money on and you do it full time, you will definitely make more money. So if you take in consideration that I did Monday through Sunday, that's seven days, right? Two hours each day. So that's 14 hours right so about two work days because if you work an eight hour shift two days right so i made a total of 304 dollars and 57 cents just within a week which if you think about it 14 hours that's pretty good that means i made about 21 dollars almost 22 dollars an hour just within that so just think if you do more if you do you know more hours more orders more deliveries more things like that you're definitely going to make a nice amount of money and i will include on the screen just so you guys kind of get a gist and know that i'm not lying um you kind of see down at the bottom it says november november 9th th through november 15th i made 103 dollars even and then if I go to my Postmates account, just this screen right here, you'll see how much I made. Roughly, it says $199.57 and I had 25 deliveries and then I had my current balance on there it was from a tip, it's $2. So roughly $201.57. Um, so if you kind of just, you know, figure in all of that information, you can definitely make a good decent amount if that's something that you're wanting to pursue to do full time or even just like me how I just did it part time while I was off just to have a little bit of extra money it's definitely 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 easy 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 it's not hard at all I had no issues from um, merchants I had no issues from customers I had no issues none whatsoever if you do not want to accept the order, you can just hit, you don't have to accept it. You can decline it. Um, if that's an area that you're not wanting to deliver to, you can just, they have an option. I don't want to go to that area. Things like that. They have a lot of different um, things in the app that will help benefit you and customize to you personally. So if that's something that you know, you're know you nervous about, like what if I don't wanna go to this area, like you said in DoorDash, you drive far and whatever, um, you can, I'm sure, you can customize that on your personal Dasher profile. Like I said, this is new to me, so I don't necessarily know the tips and tricks. I just kinda wanted to come on here and show you guys what I earned within my 14 hour experience. So um like i said that's not bad in my eyes i don't think it's really bad for two hours a day um for about roughly 14 hours to make 300 dollars. i don't think that's bad at all full hits and misses or tips and tricks things to to uh be aware of with postmates you can say i go out one thing one thing that i did like or a couple things that i like and dislike about the apps um postmates say that you go out that night monday night and you earn a hundred dollars um you can instantly do a payout for 50 cents so no matter what the price is that you earn um you can pay that out or cash that out to your bank account or your debit card whatever you you know use on there for a fee of 50 cents now for DoorDash, I believe they do a direct deposit every week on a Monday and it's a direct deposit to your account and then that is free of charge. Your earnings from DoorDash, they do charge a fee of $1.99. I had a really good experience. I will be doing this more. I put my best friend on, my best friend put me on, you know what I'm saying? Like just, it's, it's money. So I'm letting y'all know it's easy money. If you ever need quick little 20, quick little 50, quick little 100, get out there. And it's yours, sis. It's yours. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions or anything like that, definitely leave them down below. I'll be more than happy to answer them. And also, look at my socials. Message me on social media. I'll definitely write back. Don't be scared to ask. 
also if you've made it this far thank you again make sure you like comment subscribe leave me some love below and i did want to leave y'all on a note so i was thinking of calling y'all my cb sweeties cb sweeties what do y'all think what do you think what do you think what do y'all think if you don't like it, leave some suggestions down below. Let me know what y'all want me to call y'all. Because y'all are my gang, y'all my squad, y'all my homies, y'all my friends, y'all my sweeties. Let me know what y'all think. Until then, I will see y'all in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.